guys, the rain continues to fall. It has been days of torrential rain, but you know what? We need it. Here it is, my Capo JK Max. I've been dying to go out into the mud with this thing. I've been doing modifications off camera for quite some time without even telling the audience. But why not? That's what this hobby is all about. Explore it, enjoy it. Yes, that is a mini me on the inside. Shout out to Capo Racing right now for even making the JK Max because this thing is an absolute beast. Who remembers when I actually built this on my channel? Channel, yeah this actually I got to do the first one 13 and a half pounds my friends this is cable driven steering uh, I'm actually powering this uh, by the NSD RC servo I have in on the inside but there are many surprises here yes my tires are way too small paddle tires but you know what I think it actually looks kind of bomb and in fact this might be the new look for my JK Maxx because overall this thing is super scale I like the uh, the actual tires there. check it out I even have my pulleys move right look at that ba -ba so yes I can set it up for when my trucks moving of course that's when my pulleys are running my sound kit yeah right on the inside everything's running but I got it on a shutdown after what five seconds here we'll just let her shut down that's not the only thing about this bad boy. I also have uh, air ride suspension in this. You heard that right. Back on the on this, you can see right here, this is the air ride suspension setup to whereas I can do front and back. Look at this. Boom, lift it up on both sides and then drop it down. Woo, what do you think of that? I can do it on the back as well. This is all compressor right here. Best thing is, is it's great for when you go mudding. Look at that. And then if you just want to drop down the front because you're doing a hill climb. Dun dun! Enough talking. Let's go have some fun. Welcome to my backyard. There is a pond over here. Might as well mosey our way over there. Got my seat zap strap on. This is at two speed, by the way. Let's go ahead and shift her into high speed gear. Taking the doors off. Removing the front window certainly made this look more like a serious uh, off-road machine, and it certainly is. One of the most scale machines, one of my most favorite machines that I have. soft out here. What's up dump truck in the bushes? Here we have the remnants of an old mine site. What is the truck still doing outside? Getting naturally weathered. Absolutely crazy with the overhang back here guys, but perfect sand and dirt <laughs> Yeah, you just heard a blow off valve. That's right
you would ask me, is my air suspension waterproof? The answer would be not where it sucks air in, but it's not sucking in air unless I'm actually asking it to blow up, you know, or to actually inflate. Man, slow mos with these tires are just like... <laughs> this is why I RC just to get your imagination rolling. Who cares if it's raining? Put on some rubber boots. Go have some fun outside. Got her in low gear. Rumbling along. Yeah, baby. You can see why it's one of my favorite rigs. This overkill. You guys will say, "What? where's the Black Widow for those that are longtime viewers of my show? I still have the Black Widow. It's just a, an icon for me, that's all. Much like this beauty. That's why I rarely use them. A lot of people ask me, how do you clean rigs off like this? I gotta be straight up. When you can find it's a deep one, why not go in it? <laughs> ah, I'm actually kidding. This is how I cleaned it off. Not your usual way, but... Ah. One that I thought you guys would enjoy. This is how I do it. Build them right. You can make them watertight. It was only this easy and full scale. Full size. <laughs> 